All right, Casey Cameron, but here with Tulare County Cop Watch to see these people respect our freedom to record. Uh -huh. Hello. One second, please. She's actually looking for someone over there to come tell us something, I bet. Wow. Well, do you guys have questions? Yeah, I do. Uh, I know this place is here. What, what is this place again? So, we're Child Welfare Services with uh, Delary County Health and Human Services Agency. Okay. And what's mm -hmm. your position here? I'm a manager here. And your name? David. That's uh, Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Cool. Can mm -hmm. I get the name of the desk lady right here? The, which lady was it? Um, the one that was right here in the front office. Okay. <laughs> Can you, I wasn't up here. Can you explain what you look like? Um, was there a few few ladies? Yeah, there's there's the a front? few ladies. They were oh, that one with the brown brown oh. shirt. I, were you up here before? Yes, I said hello. I greeted them and I said I would go get someone for them. Okay, they're just they wanting to know your name. My name? Yeah. Marianne. Nice to meet you. I'm Casey. So, uh, so what do you guys do here? Like, do you guys? So we have a bunch of different programs here, uh, housed here. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the programs that I oversee is our foster parent um, oh. program. Okay. So we do, um, of course, recruitment for foster parents, training for foster parents, uh, follow up for foster parents. We do the home inspections for them. Oh. Uh, but uh, we have a lot of uh, different programs here. But those are some of the ones that I oversee. So you guys, uh, this is the place where they like take kids away from their parents? No. No, mm -hmm. that's down the street, huh? Uh, that's some of our other offices. We have um, emergency response units mm -hmm. um, where they're the ones who respond to some of our, <coughs> excuse me, some of our um, calls that have, uh, require like an immediate response. So, you know, PDs out there or oh. uh, hospitals are calling for us. Um, but we don't have any emergency response in this building. Mm -hmm. Do you guys actually look into these families that adopt kids? Because I hear a lot of the times that they just do it for the money, man, and a lot of these kids are treated bad, and that you guys don't follow up with their situations. Yeah, so it's actually state law that we're required to. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of think about a foster parent license as like kind of a DMV license. Oh. So it's actually state issued, but it's um, monitored locally. So, um, you know, I'm sure you guys are aware, uh, you can go online and, and take a look or um, kind of um, uh, ask, uh, you know, if you guys are interested in becoming foster parents, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> but we have orientation for all of our foster parents and that kind of outlines all of the requirements, all the state requirements. Are you a foster parent? No, I'm not. No? I'm, I'm a manager here at Child Welfare. Okay. Do you have uh, any kids? What's that? Do you have any kids? Uh, I'm not going to answer personal questions. I'll okay. answer business questions for you if you'd like. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just asking, man. <clears throat> yeah. But definitely lots of laws. So they're all required to do uh, background, criminal background checks. Um, so, yeah. When was the last time your background was checked? Uh, upon employment. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Nice. Yeah. Alrighty. Cool. Cool. Where are you guys from? Well, we'd rather not say. Okay. Or we're right. just I'm there, yeah. dropping in. I don't okay. know me, me. I travel from three hours away. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so. But yeah, we're just going to... All right, well, we're just going to take off. Okay. All right. I, I just have a couple questions, if you mind. Go ahead. Um, yeah. how, how does the emergency response <laughs> team works? How does it work? Yeah, yeah, like... like. Um, uh, so we have a 1-800 number uh, okay. that's uh, available to the public. Do you mind sharing that for people that actually so have So it's 1-800... Um, 331 1585 okay. that's for Tulare County specifically okay. uh, all the counties of course are going to have their own ah. uh, specific number okay um, but that's for Tulare County so that's open to the public um, people call in and they'll make a report that goes to our screening unit it's a it's a dedicated unit of people who you know take all of our in call wow. intake calls okay um, and then from there it would go to emergency response unit depending on the location um, so then it gets assigned to a worker and then they go out and investigate. Mm. Are those the same people that go and inspect people's homes before I think, um, uh, what would they go inspect your home? Uh, question, they say like people are mistreating their kids, they have them in like a really nasty place and stuff like that or? So, I mean, they might be, I mean, if that's the reason why they receive the call. Okay. If like, let's say we get a call from a, you know, a concerned parent or um, even a school person okay. about the condition of the home then that emergency response person might go out and check the home. 
Uh, my workers also inspect the home because that, all foster parents are, are required to have home oh, inspections. Okay. How, so how often? What's that? How often a foster, foster parent is supposed to have? For foster parents, it's yearly. Yearly, okay. Yeah. Usually, you guys get a tip of, of, of a family, um, and you guys usually go into that home and inspect, right? So, you guys, like how they follow up or something? Yeah, you know, like when someone makes a complaint against a family, how kids are not being fed or something, you guys go to that, that residence, correct? Yeah, yeah. Do you guys let the yeah. people know that they I have like that. rights? Like yeah. they don't have to answer your questions or that they don't have to let you in their, their so, house? So everybody gets a pamphlet upon, upon us uh, going out there. Everybody gets a pamphlet of their rights. Okay. Foster parents get pamphlets um, of their rights. Foster children get pamphlets of their rights. Oh, okay. Um, but so, I mean... A lot of the times, I'll be honest, we're, we're not gonna we're, we're not gonna read all of that. But do you guys you guys don't say it verbally to them, so that they understand instead of them having to read black and white. I mean, if they want us to go over their rights, we can. Um, because a lot of the times we don't even know that we have rights, and you guys know that we do have rights, but you guys don't say nothing. Yeah, I mean, I think if um, if it's a situation where, once again, they're asking us what exactly my rights are, we're more than happy to, to answer that. Okay. I can't speak as to what what each individual social worker does, Okay. Um, yeah. but definitely they should, and they should be able to, you know, kind of articulate those rights depending on, you know, uh, the the client's language or... Wow. Um, I've so. seen that behind you, there's multiple languages there, it says Yeah, right. so there's multiple um, options for, for our rights. Uh, you guys are free to take any of those if you'd like. You want to Thank take you. A look at them. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's definitely something that um, you know we're we're more than happy to do. Uh, we, you know, we want to be transparent. We want to work with the families. Uh, you know, we're not trying to hide anything. We don't have anything to hide. Okay. Do you um, do you know the Constitution? Uh, yes, I do. Do you know the First Amendment? So I don't have it all memorized. Uh, but if you'd like to tell me, I mean, that's the, actually the first one of the Constitution. Of that. You know what I mean? That's the, that's the problem. A lot of the public workers, that people that take kids and then how you guys go to their house <coughs> with an armed man. A lot of the times people don't know that we have rights, man. Like, we weren't brought up in school like, hey, you guys have rights. You know, you guys don't have to answer their questions. You guys don't have to do this and that. We weren't brought up that way. You guys swore an oath to the Constitution, correct? Swear an oath to the Constitution? Yeah. Did you? Oh, I mean, no. Oh, that's not no. The, the probably just cops. CPS. Yeah, that's, oh, probably that's CPS. maybe you... law enforcement, what you're talking about. But when we get hired, there's there's no swearing. We're not a sworn position. Okay, okay. Huh. So they just call the sworn. My, my other question is, when people, like, let's say, they go, uh, they have a, you guys receive a complaint from someone, oh, this ch children's getting mistreated, he's not getting being fed, uh, like how it's supposed to. If you guys get a complaint and then you guys show up and people refuse, to open up the door, answer a question. Can a judge um, issue a warrant for you guys to be able to go inside the house and search if there actually stuff going on? Do you know? I don't know if that's possible. That you can say that. Yeah. So um, I mean, it is possible it's for possible? us to get access to the to the to the home if we have concerns. But okay. It's, it's through the court yep. process, and mm -hmm. you know, it's, a judge would make that decision. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, if there's something wrong going on, I mean, I agree on that. You know. So. I don't know if you have any questions there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, very professional. Well, where can we check you guys out at? Uh, I'm Casey Camera Boy. You can check me out. I mean, awesome. video, video will be posted there. You've been very professional. Um, I really appreciate you for answering questions because this is useful for the people, you know, for people to know. Yeah, no problem. And I don't know if you have any other. Well, yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks a lot, And guys. Miriam was really cool, I think, I got to say. Awesome. Yeah, so let her know. Well, we're done here. I'm just going to grab a pamphlet sure. if you don't mind. I'm going to grab. Is it okay if I grab one in Spanish and English? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Because uh, I'm bilingual, so I want to go there. Awesome. <laughs> but thank you so much, Mr. Rodriguez. Stay safe. Guys. I know I've seen. Is that medium? Uh, if you're no, medium, no. thank you so much. I don't think you sir, but stay safe, though. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. I'm going to print this out and I'm going to post them, attach them to the files. Casey Camera Boy into Larry County Coppers. Man, you did ask him some questions that made him shake, bro. I thought that, that for a second I actually thought that they um, did take an oath because, uh, but you know, I was, I was thinking, I was like, oh, you know what, I think it was when I watched the video on mm -hmm. him, uh, a CPS worker had to raise her hand. Raise her hand. Yeah. So probably CPS. I probably got it said. mixed up, but. Yeah. But it's good you asked those questions, though. All right, make sure you guys go check out Tulare County Cowboy and my channel. Peace out. Huh, <laughs> huh.